Hey guys, David Pingree out here at the Cheney Ranch today for a private invite ride by KTM on the 2019 250 and 350. Uh, a lot of changes made to both of these bikes. Completely new frame, uh, added a lot of gusset plates and welds and uh, members have been uh, increased in diameter to, to increase torsional rigidity while still maintaining some of that uh, good flex characteristic that you get out of a steel frame. Uh, anxious to see how those frames work. Uh, a lot of changes to the engines as well. Both of these pretty much new from the ground up. Uh, they've gone to a Pankel transmission on both bikes. Um, same, same ratios, just uh, being made by Pankel now. Pankel is actually owned by uh, Mr. Peer, the guy who owns KTM. So a very high-end company that does their cranks, now doing their transmissions. So it is an upgrade for sure. Uh, if there was any transmission issues in the past on these motorcycles, not gonna be one now. Uh, all new mapping on these motorcycles. Uh, all new exhaust, particularly on the 250, they did a lot of work on that. Uh, they were saying over 50, 50 different systems made before they came up with what they liked. Um, lower radiators, they dropped those down to get the center of gravity down, increased the uh, amount of flow that goes through those. Um, what else? Let's see. Lots, lots of good things on these things. The air boot, uh, the velocity stack has been shortened and stiffened. Apparently we were getting some flex before as the thing would pulse. So a lot of little fine tuning and, and uh, details like that that they've sharpened up. Still comes with the same Brembo brakes, um, you know, the same hydraulic clutch. Uh, both bikes, all the bikes actually share the same bodywork. Uh, same swing arms other than the 350 and 450 are slightly longer, uh, just in the channel in the back. Uh, Dunlop uh, MX3S tires on all these bikes. New seat uh, that is supposed to be a little bit better, a little bit better grip, a little bit better feel. Uh, they've made some changes to kind of rider positioning, so we're anxious to see how that feels. Um, but a, ho a whole host of changes to these. The fork as well has been uh, refined. It's gotten the same updates that they got on the factory edition last year. And the top triple clamp's also been stiffened. And uh, apparently that gives the fork a better feel, actually a little more plush feel um, without giving anything up. So uh, it's those little refinements that, that really make the bike better, according to KTM. So uh, we've got Gage Share out with us today. He's going to ride the 250. I'm going to get my turn on the 350, and uh, we'll get you some feedback on these things uh, after we get a little bit of time on the track. Well, Gage and I jumped off these bikes. We've been putting a bunch of laps in here. The Cheney Ranch track is super fun. 
little bit warm and dry today, but a really fun layout and a, a good place to test the bikes. Uh, as far as the 350 goes for me, what I noticed, uh, they, they made some efforts to really make it feel lighter and a little more free revving, which gives the bike a lighter feel. They did reduce some weight on this thing. They lowered the, um, the actual cylinder head is a little lower and the cover. Um, they did some things to remove some weight, um, but even though they did do some things to remove weight, I think what I'm feeling is just an engine characteristic and that could be through mapping, the exhaust, um, different things, but it feels very light and free, uh, which you'll hear guys talk about a lot. Even a bike that, even if the power isn't any different, if a bike has a, a, a quick revving, free feeling to it, it makes the whole thing feel light, almost like you're riding kind of like a two stroke, you know, just real electric feeling. And that's what this thing has. I noticed it, uh, a, a marked difference over the 2018 model. A uh, little bit better power, especially when I went to map one, a little bit harder hitting, or map two rather, a little bit harder hitting. And uh, on the 350, I like that for this track. If I was at someplace hard and slick, I might go back, definitely use that traction control button. And I played with all those today. Uh, we had good traction today, some good berms, so you could kind of get into it and get on it hard. So didn't need the traction control as much, but a, a, it's an amazing feature on these bikes as well. Suspension was very plush, uh, handled big hits well. Not a ton of bumps built in yet today, but uh, overall, super stoked with the suspension. I turned the compression in on the fork one click just to sort of hold it up a bit. That was the only change I made. We set the sag at 105, and I ran it all day with no issues. So overall, very, very impressed. Um, the seat has a little bit more grip than what they had last year. I, I did have issues with old KTM seats kind of sliding off the back. Didn't have that with this. Felt like I was planted a little bit better. Um, and uh, overall, really, 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 really like this bike. This is a, if you're a vet rider or someone who's just racing age group classes or something like that, or not racing, just riding, this is a really awesome option. So check it out. Uh, the 2019 is in dealerships this summer, very soon, and available. So let's talk about the 250 gauge. <clears throat> Thanks for coming out and doing some laps for us. You are racing one of these. You switched from another brand to KTM's this summer and raced the Glen Helen National, actually, yep. on a mostly stock 2018 250. <laughs> yep. Uh, an exhaust and ignition and a yep. couple things, but how does this thing compare to that? Um, like you said, it just has a little bit more of like a lighter feeling. Um, obviously, the 2018 is a good bike, too, and like you said, it was a stock bike and it ended up ripping the whole shot. So when they say ready to race, they, they mean it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what I noticed the most was probably the shrouds, the difference. Um, the 2018s have a little bit of a notch, but a little bit out wide. These are like, it almost brings the bike, the dynamic of it, a little bit skinnier. It feels a little bit like, like you said, lighter. And uh, yeah, you can grip it a little bit better, so. Okay, suspension seemed to work okay for you? Suspension was good. Um, I mean, considering it's bone stock, this is a real yeah, general it wasn't, setting. Wasn't, yeah, it wasn't too many bumps, but for the most part, I, I'm just still getting used to the air and like the one side, one side air, one the other side dampening. But um, for the most part, everything's good. It tracks well and it sits good. So. And you ran through the maps as well. Yeah, said... I did one. I think the second one's obviously you can tell a little bit more aggressive. Like you said though, like out here you can use that because it's dry and I mean big sand berms. But I mean map one would be very useful for summer that was a little bit more like dry slick, dry slick, muddy slick. not yeah. many lines that you can hold into. And uh, yeah, the traction control obviously too good on the start. And uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, I felt like gearing on mine was pretty spot on. How how did you, you feel on the 250? Make any changes or would you leave it? What, what, what is what's on it? Oh, whatever it is. I mean, does it? Do you think no, it needs? I don't, I don't yeah. think. I think. Um, I think it pulls good, and it also you can rev the thing out, and it, and it, and it still goes. So yeah, I think. I think with the way they come, they're pretty. Ready yeah, to go. and it sounded like you kind of compared it. It's very similar to your 18, the bike you're racing, which is. Even though it's stock, it does have an ECU and, a, and an exhaust. So, that's a, if this is already parallel to that, that's pretty good. That's saying a lot. For no, us. it's a really good bike. Obviously, now like just the one weekend I was on that, but I'm on a race bike now. But yeah, for the most part, the bikes come, and they're pretty comparable. But uh, yeah, I think it has a little bit lighter feeling. I don't know if that's because of the weight they shave or just the way the motor hits. Like you said, I think. It, um, yeah, like it almost feels like a two-stroke. So. Yeah. Very electric. Very loose, <laughs> yep. free feeling. Loose. So. Cool. Well, I appreciate you coming out and helping us. Uh, check these things out. Really stoked with the changes they made. And uh, I think that even though some of them are subtle, they make a big difference overall when you add everything up. And these guys are always looking to shave little bits of weight when they can, lower that center of gravity. That's another thing about it. Those radiators are lower, which can really have a, a, a lightning feel to it. So um, that could be some of what we're feeling too. Anyway, great changes on the 2019 KTMs. 
350 and 250. Check them out at your local KTM dealer. Thank you for watching. Cool. Good. That's it. Did I do good? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, man. I don't do this often. I'm just like, kinda, I'm kind of no, winging it, bro. You did perfect. <laughs>